What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, excuse the shakiness of the video. Uh, today I'm doing this all freehand or thing hand, however that works. Um, what we're going to do today is something that I haven't yet done before. Uh, I know most people have. I have not done this. I've never done this with my video games. We've never just uh, out and out gone through and run down everything and how it's set up in my place. And I'm trying, if you guys will bear with me, I do have pets, and so we're going to be navigating around them. But uh, let's just run down. We'll start up here at the very top, and excuse the shadows. Um, on the top row here, above everything, I kind of put some things, um, like this is Doom, the collector's edition of Doom 3 for Xbox. I don't have the slip cover for it, but because it's that cool metal case, I think it looks neat on top of the uh, collection, so... We just kind of roll with it. I only have one boxed Nintendo DS game. Um, the other game that I have for the DS is um, is right here, Pokemon Black. Um, you can throw it down here, whatever. But uh, those are the only DS games that I have, so I put it up on top. There's really no other place for it on the shelf. And then we pan over and we get we get in here nice and tight. We've got uh, Zelda the Minish Cap for the Game Boy Advance and uh, Castlevania Circle of the Moon for Game Boy Advance and then when I bought my copy of Mortal Kombat 2 uh, they also sold me the manual which is interesting um, we did not get a box or anything like that and the manuals kinda cut it's a little rough but uh, it is a manual and then um, down here we've got uh, all my Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. We've got Animaniacs, Gremlins 2, uh, Looney Tunes with a torn label, Madden 97, which is actually the first Madden game I ever owned. I have some earlier in the franchise, but uh, chronologically that was the first I owned. Madden 2000, which was one of the um, colored uh, original Game Boy. Like this one would play on both, I guess is the best way to say it. The colored cartridges like that played on both. Then uh, Stargate, um, Tasmania, Tiny Toon Adventures 2, Montana's Movie Madness, and then here are three Game Boy Color games. We start with Looney Tunes Racing, because I was a kid and licensed games were all the rage, uh, The Mummy Returns, and X-Men Mutant Academy. Then we get down here, just below that row of games, uh, you come down and we've got our NES games. Um, I've gone through all of these before, but uh, Defender of the Crown, Donkey Kong, Ghostbusters, uh, Ghoul School, Kitty Cat, getting removed from the picture. Uh, that black cartridge there is one of the Bible games from the NES, uh, King of Kings. Then Kirby's Adventure, the original Mega Man, Metroid, Mickey Mouse Capade, uh, Journey to Silas, the original Super Mario Brothers with Duck Hunt, Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 3, um, uh, something, something, Bill Barker's trick shooting, or Barker Bill's trick shooting, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, possibly one of the hardest games I've ever played, Vice, Project Doom, uh, The Young Indiana Jones Chronicles, and The Legend of Zelda, the original in the, uh, the gray cart. Then we move over, and this one's going to be hard to see due to shadows, but Batman Forever, uh, Clay Fighter on the SNES. Frogger, the last game ever made for the Super Nintendo. The Jungle Book, uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, that's a, uh, a gold, uh, a thousand copies sold, whatever, Nintendo choice, there we go. Um, let's see, The Lion King, Mega Man X, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Mortal Kombat 2, NBA Jam Tournament Edition, Star Fox, Stunt Racer FX, um, what do we have over there, that's Super Star Wars, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario World, is that right? What am I trying to say here? Yeah, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, and then uh, Tetris Attack. I also have later on, we'll see um, Mario All-Stars and Super Mario World together. And then uh, down in front of those games, we have the DS, uh, the PSP 1001, like the first one I guess. 
Uh, and then uh, recently you've seen the video of my Game Boy Color and my Game Boy Color has Pokemon Special, edi uh, Special Pikachu Edition in it. Also, I try in front of the games to have at least one controller for that system, if that makes sense. Um, obviously I don't have my NES controllers out here because they're in the closet because I also don't have an NES system out here uh, because I don't own one. So uh, there's the NES controller. Then we come down a shelf. Bear with me as I move around. And let's see if we can get this thing to adjust down here. Um, up on the very top, I've just got some loose games. This is a GameCube game. Um, this is Power Rangers Dino Thunder. Uh, man, you really can't see these. That is uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the PS2. And then over here, we've got uh, NCAA Football 14 as well as Infamous 2 in the little um, envelope with the voucher and everything. Uh, we'll pull the controller down. This is the Wavebird, the Silver Wavebird controller. And then this one's unlabeled, but that's Animal Crossing. Donkey Konga 2, Naka Kings 2003, uh, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, and that is the um, Platinum Edition or whatever they call those. Uh, NFL Street, Over the Hedge, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, Skies of Arcadia Legends, Sonic Riders, a Star Wars Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2, and Super Mario Sunshine. So that's my GameCube collection there. Then we get into PS2, and we got the fancy translucent blue PS2 controller. We'll take that down. Um, we've got Aragon, Devil May Cry, the first one, uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, NCAA Football 09, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, and The Legend of Jack Sparrow. This one doesn't show up on video game uh, pricecharting.com, so I, I don't know about that one. Soul Calibur 2, uh, Lego Star Wars, that should actually be over here because these are in alphabetical order, but Lego Star Wars, the video game. Um, so that's the PS2 collection. Uh, and then we get into PS3, and this is not all my PS3. Also, we got the white DualShock 3. And this is not all my PS3 games. Um, some of them are loaned out at the moment. But uh, Batman Arkham City. Dead Space 2, limited edition. Dragon Ball um, Raging Blast 2. I have no idea where Raging Blast 1 is, but I do have it somewhere. Uh, Ghostbusters, God of War Ascension, God of War Collection, containing the remastered versions of God of War and God of War 2. God of War 3, Lego Rock Band, Madden 09, 12, and 13. MLB 12, The Show. NCAA Basketball 10, and I do have 8 somewhere. And you notice some of these have really terrible cases on them. Uh, we ran into an issue. Uh, these were too close to a fire. Bad things happen to good people. Um, NCAA Football 9, 11, and 13. I think that's the only... And 14, which is up there. I think that's the only ones I have now. Some of those have gone out of, as trade fodder. Uh, Resident Evil 5, uh, PlayStation Greatest Hits Edition, as you can see by the red case. Uh, Resistance, Fall of Man, and Resistance 2. I do not have Resistance 3. Uh, Rock Band 2, and Transformers the game all for ps3 so that wraps that up and we'll put the controllers back up here uh, i'm kind of enjoying that that's a new thing that i did very recently but i'm i'm kind of enjoying the controllers on display there i'll show you in a minute where i had the uh the controllers before this oh one more ps3 game uh the shelf got too full up there we do have unreal tournament uh three down here at the very, very bottom, all by itself. Then we've got some Dreamcast games. That's Choo Choo Rocket uh, down there and Vanishing Point. Also, um, Dreamcast controller flashing in front of all of that. Then we got the Xbox controller, which means we must be ready for Xbox games. So we've got um, Agent Under Fire, uh, Alter Echo, and I'll, I'll tell you, I have not played these first three. Alter Echo, Blinks, The Time Sweeper, Crimson Skies, High Road to Revenge, ESPN 2K5, uh, arguably the best football game of all time. Fable, The Lost Chapters, uh, two copies of Halo. I'm looking to get rid of this one here with the labels. I know, bummer for you guys if you uh, want to trade for that, but let me know. I'll trade or sell that one. Uh, Jade Empire, uh, Star Wars 2, the or Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Mercenaries, which I absolutely love. Uh, MVP Baseball 2005, which is regarded as one of the best baseball games of all time. NCAA Football 04, Need for Speed Underground. Odd World Munch's Odyssey, which does not work and I need to take back. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, which sort of works and is okay to play. Uh, Spy Hunter, I've never played. 
Star Wars Clone Wars paired with Tetris Worlds and Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. Uh, that wraps up all the games that I have. Actually, what do I have in here? Ah, there's Mario Kart. We got Mario Kart. It's loose. Um, <clears throat> but that's all the games. As you can see, this is where I keep my uh, GameCube. It's down here at the very bottom. Um, and then uh, the Spice Orange controller is down there on top of it. We'll put the Dreamcast and Xbox controllers up. You can really tell how much alike those two are when they're sitting side by side. It's crazy. Uh, then we pivot around, and back there in the corner, you can kind of see it. I've got a Fender Squire that's an actual guitar. And then right next to it is the Stratocaster um, Rock Band guitar. It's hard to see those two, but I do keep them back there in the corner. Then we come around here, and I think some of this has been visible in the past, but we've got the Dreamcast, PS2, uh, PS3, which is the old, old edition, not the one with the SD card slots and the four USB slots. I had one of those, it went away, and we replaced it with the big fat one here. Um, then you come down to the very bottom, and we've got the Super Nintendo, and as I mentioned, Super Mario All-Stars with Super Mario World in it, and then uh, the Xbox with hopefully nothing in it, because you shouldn't leave discs in your Xbox. So that's all the uh, consoles and video games. And then we'll come up here and, oh, this is hard to get in the picture because, well, it's so stinking big. Um, a 55 inch Vizio smart TV, which literally will not fit in the screen. There we go. Uh, that's a new acquisition. That's what we play just about everything on. And then a uh, switcher down here. And this top drawer is dedicated to everything. You can see a router in there, but it's mostly where I store um, controllers, extra controllers, and um, <laughs> bits and pieces for taking consoles apart, including Torx bits and, and things like that. We have some markers. I don't know why that's in there. And there's the Rock Band, uh, rock band um, microphone. And up under here, you can kind of see them in there. I have just simply not... Uh, put these boxes out on display like they should be for my Super Nintendo games, but I have a ton of those back there. Uh, let's see, we got some posters, that's like a Star Wars Creo thing, we got a Lord of the Rings poster, and I think that's all that's on this wall, but we'll get some more here in a second. Let's come around here and you can see, first of all, there's my uh, special resin controller ornaments that I got from uh, thinkgeek.com. This... <laughs> I've had this thing, I think since I was born, my mom, it was hers and then she gave it to me, but it's a gizmo from Gremlins, and he squeaks. <laughs> uh, I'm a huge Bears fan, and then we're in Tennessee, so uh, Bears and Titans pennants, and then we'll come down, going left to right again. We got my copy of the Power Rangers movie. These are some coins that my girlfriend collects. Uh, that's a baseball from Crater Lake for my trip up there. This is Daenerys Targaryen with, as you can see right there, her tiny little dragon. Um, this is the statue that uh, my friend Daniel gave me from the uh, Arkham Origins pre-order, and I can't find the switch or I'd turn it on, but these screens all light up back here. And this is a Burger King toy, Luigi. Don't ask me why, he only stands in those dumb poses. Somebody gave it to me, and I love it, it's in the collection. Then we've got uh, a four-pack of the Ninja Turtle movies. These are just influential movies for me as a kid. Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, 1, 2, 3, and TMNT, the uh, CGI film from a couple years back. Step down, and you can't see them all, but that is the uh, 25th anniversary Collector Series Pez collection from Star Trek. Uh, we have Data, Mr. Riker, Locutus of Borg. Then you've got uh, Picard there. The Enterprise is back there. Um, Jordy. Worf and uh, Lieutenant Troy. Those are all in there and that's never been opened. Uh, then this is, um, I, I'm a big sports guy and this is uh, a book, it's called The Sluggers, but it literally has every baseball record, I guess. It's even got a little slide rule thing in there where you can keep up with some baseball records and, and check and see what they are. Uh, down in front, this is chalk paint on a piggy bank. Uh, this is actually where I'm saving for several different um, gaming ventures, but I'm a huge Vanderbilt fan and it's got the Vandy logo on the side. Uh, and behind that, uh, the box set, the latest box set from Garth Brooks. This is uh, Blame It All on My Roots. Um, just a great place to keep that. Huge Garth Brooks fan as well. There's my Megazord. 
Uh, missing a sword, so if you have a sword, feel free to uh, sell that to me or trade it to me or something. And then uh, behind that, my girlfriend's glitter. Uh, wow, the dog is fighting with the cat. Glitter lava lamp. Now, we're going to swing around for a second. We're going to come all the way back around, and we're going to go across the windows so as to show as little of my apartment as possible. Here's a uh, Ghostbusters original movie poster up on the wall. Who are you going to call? Uh, back here. Really enjoy this one. This is, uh, I want to make this a backdrop at some point, but this is a Justice League poster. Starts all the way back, I guess, with the golden era or whatever, and then comes forward to the way they look now. I told you I was a big Vandy fan. Vandy wall decal. Uh, it's an older logo, and I actually have this tattooed on my back, of all things. And then God of War Ascension over here. This is a GameStop poster. One of the perks of working at the radio station is sometimes we get swag. This was swag. Uh, we'll swing around, just ignore some of the bills stuck on the wall, and these are kind of some pride and joy posters. Let's see if I can get in close enough so that the glare goes away. Uh, these are some custom art pieces that I picked up at Wizard World Comic Con this year. This is from uh, Gremlins 2. Um, you can see there it's Gizmo with his paperclip flaming arrow, bow and arrow, and then Mohawk, the um, evil gremlin. And then this is the Green Ranger, who I'm a huge fan of. Jason David Frank actually did an interview for me that you can see on this channel. Uh, but you got the Dragon Sword in the background, um, the Green Ranger in the foreground with the Dragon Dagger, and he has, as you can see there, beheaded Rita Repulsa. That's pretty awesome. So let's swing around once again. <laughs> and we'll come back over here and we'll just finish up, uh, I guess, where we started. With the wall of games, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you got some comments, some questions about anything you see here, uh, leave those below. And of course, like, subscribe, and uh, as I said, comment. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.